Bitcoin 40% pump incoming. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, wherever you are drinking your cup of coffee. Yes, amazing. In Bitcoin, we trust. And of course, with a Bitcoin spoon, these are given to me by my followers. I really appreciate all these gifts. If you want to give something to me, please let me know in a DM. And I will, of course, always be showing it online because I just love to receive gifts. In Bitcoin, we trust, guys. But welcome to the Bitcoin family channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. Uh, in today's video, I have amazing news, guys. Amazing news of a friend of mine that started the Really cool brand i'm going to inform you about of course also looking into the bitcoin charts as the weekly closed and the weekly also opened let's see how the bitcoin price was affected by that close and open and what we expect for the next upcoming days weeks and months also a beautiful inspirational quote at the end as it's raining in thailand and yes there is something about the rain that is educating us a lot let's quickly jump into the news first while i zip another zip of my coffee mm. A very good friend of mine, Waldo, he's also a very famous DJ and he now launched his own brand when it comes to crypto watches. I'm not wearing it yet, Waldo. Waldo, I need a watch. Send me a watch or I will order it myself. Of course, that's also not possible. I will do that to support my friends. I will order one of these watches, but they just went live this weekend. The brand name is Chrono Shift Watches. And if you want to see the website, you go to chronoshift.org. This is an example of the first Bitcoin watch he's launching. I want to have that Bitcoin watch on my wrist because I want to support the Bitcoin community and everything that happens in this Bitcoin community. And maybe you like that model as well. So go to the website chronoshift.org because that is where you can find all these products, guys. Now, really cool. Congrats, Waldo, with the launch of your watches. I hope you have a lot of success with them. Now, there was not many other spectacular news, guys. It's all the same story again. MicroStrategy adding a shitload of Bitcoins. There's a lot of banks embracing Bitcoin. The spot ETFs turning positive again. It's not that there is like spectacular like amusing news it's just very boring times in bitcoin at the moment yeah sideways 50 60k 50 60k 50 60k and that counts also for the news no countries adopting bitcoin there's not like spectacular news but it's going to get more spectacular in the next couple of months i will show you why i think this on the next amazing charts i selected a few really cool charts for you guys to understand what is coming next for Bitcoin? Will it be a 40% pump or not? Bam. The first child for the day, while well, Julie and Juna and Jessa are walking out of the screen now, is of course, oh no, Julie is back. <laughs> first chart, guys, um, is this uh, four hour chart. On the four hour chart, we broke out tremendously almost to that uh, target there of 61K. Uh, coming back again, but that's beautiful because we are testing that line now that was resistance. As you can see, I will draw a line. It was a very important line, horizontal ray. This line over there is a very important line where you see the red one now turning green. Look, support over here. I'm just learning, teaching you how to read it. Support, support, support. Ah, we broke out, resistance again. Here, resistance, you see? resistance over there, resistance over there, then we break out and then we retest it at support. This is a perfect move for Bitcoin, just retesting it and then probably moving up towards this green or yellow line or even that yellow line on top, 65K over there. This is amazing how Bitcoin is moving. On the five day chart, guys, we can still see the Gaussian channel, which is very important. This candle needs to become a little bit more positive in 18 hours closing. I hope it will close around 60K. There's a beautiful greenish candle with a not too large wick on top. If the top wick is a big one and there is no bottom wick then it could mean that there's a fake out and we come back again to that 55k level or even lower guys 47k to that bottom we need to keep support in the midline but the best thing would be that we break that top line around 62k if we break that then it's off to the races that is when i expect the bull market really to start again now let's jump into some more amazing charts that will really make you say oh yeah like that something like that let's quickly jump into them over here guys yes uh, my face a little bit there i will put it over here next to the titan of crypto this chart was made by titan of crypto uh, found it on twitter amazing chart what this chart is showing us that every time that we retest that 50 ma that red line we saw a pump of here 80 percent almost we retested it here 50 percent retested it here 40 percent retested it here again when the price found the red line 117 percent pump 
Now again, we are retesting that red line. 70% pump, that would take us to almost 100K. Or would we have a 40% pump? This is the question. In average, we had a 40% pump. Are we gonna pump 40% again because we just retested at 50 MA on the weekly chart? So if we, every time in history, when we retested that 50 weekly moving average, guys, we saw a massive pump, a 40% pump, 40% pump, 50% pump, 80% pump. Are we gonna see again a 40 to 80% pump? 40% pump will bring us to 85K. If we would have a 60% pump, which is also possible, would bring us to almost 100K, guys. Are we gonna see again this pump? Because we saw a pump every time in history when we retested that line, even when we come, came close over here to that line, we had a massive pump. We don't count it because we didn't touch that line, but even from there, massive pump. Every time, guys, here, almost to that line, massive pump. Every time that we did it, here, wick, pump. Every time we came close, we pumped. We are touching that line. Are we gonna see a 40% pump? Yes. In my honest opinion, we are gonna see a massive pump in the next three months. This chart also is supporting the theory of a pump, guys. Just look, max fear. We are just turning around. This is the best moment to buy the dip, and from there, we will go into the max greed. That is the moment you need to sell. So yes, this one, bottoming out, also supporting that we will see a pump. Bollinger Band contraction, also supporting we will see a pump. Here, stochastic RSI, also supporting that we will see a pump. We are in the bottom area, we need to go up again. Here, this one, the RSI, almost breaking out of this trend line, telling us, yes, when we do that, there will be a pump. The global liquidity, raising again. Money is being printed, also supporting a pump. Then we have gold, pumping up to a new all-time high, also good for Bitcoin. These all indicators all tell me a pump is upcoming, and if we look back in history, even the Bitcoin charts are telling us there will be a massive pump. So yes, be prepared for a massive pump in the last quarter of this year. October, November, December are gonna be very, very, very bullish. Then we have this chart, also showing you exactly the same. You have a buy moment over there, a buy moment over there, and a buy moment over there. You have three buy moments in the beginning of a bull market before we see a huge pump, a parabolic run. Here as well. We had a buy moment in 2019, here in 2020, here around the halving, bam, massive parabolic pump. Again, you had the bear market bottom. I told you to buy at 16K. For all those that didn't buy, I told you again, now we are at 25K, keep buying. We are gonna go see a beautiful pump in Bitcoin. Then we went into the halving. This is your buy moment three over there that you'll be able to buy Bitcoin at these prices before we have this parabolic run, a pump of minimum 40%. I expect a pump of around 100 to 150% if we calculate the end of the bull market where we need to sell. And yes, that end, just look to the bottom, is going to be at the end of 2025 towards 226, guys. So very important to understand these charts. It's looking very bullish at the moment. Then we have the Bitcoin index performance since cycle low. Sorry that the chart is not like really, really, really clear but still you can see what I mean on the chart. I hopefully, uh, you, uh, hopefully you can still see what I mean on the chart. Um, now let's see, I found this also on Twitter. This one also telling us exactly the same guys. Check, we are there. The previous cycles from this moment around day 700, we went massively up, massively up, minimum 40% pump. So yes, be prepared. Look, we just do the same thing every time again and again. This is the zero line there. And then a certain amount of days, we go up a little bit, we come down a little bit, we, but we are, these lines are all together. It's not like different cycles. They're all the same. Some a little bit higher, some a little bit lower, but look how they beautifully trend up together towards that moment of day 700, where mostly we start to pump up massively. Quarter four of 2024. October, November, December, we will see a lot of people making a shitload of profits. Then we have the percent of supply that was last active um, plus uh, one year or longer, guys. Also, that one is telling us, yes, a pump needs to be coming. Why? Just check. 
When that yellow line or that orange line is going down and the black line is going up, this gap is being created. Sorry, my, 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 uh, my thing. Sorry, there is a gap being created. And that gap that we see over there, that means that's a bull market gap. Here again, in the bull market, this gap, the difference between the black and the orange line was massively. There you see that we are nearing the top of the bull market. Every time when we see these gaps, small, bear market, big, bull market. Now we just started to open up. We, got, we are now here where we were over there. This is the phase where we are. Just starting to open up. After this, they will go like this. And it will mean we will see the price increasing higher than 100K and this orange line going lower than, uh, for example, 60%, maybe even to 50%, guys. Like here, we went to 45%. Maybe here, this was like around 60%. Maybe this time, we will only go like 65%. But this, the orange line is going to go down. The black line is going to go up. Again, we will be seeing this beautiful gap. Again, we will be seeing a shitload of profits if you just understand this four-year cycle and believe in Bitcoin, guys. And again, also showing you again the last time I will do it, October, November and December historically have been very bullish years. October, November and December, every time again, an average huge profits. 22% on average in October, 50% almost in November and 5% on average in December, guys. If you took a look at the bull market years, so 2024 now is this year then, October. But if you look now at 2020, that was at 27% October. If you look at 2016, that was at 15% over there, guys. In 2017, in the bull market year, that was at 50%. So we're going to see a lot of bullishness in these three months. I hope you really enjoy those charts, guys. Yes, short term, beautiful volatility, which means we can trade the charts, which means we can buy at 50K, sell at 60K, buy back at 55K, all kinds of profits, longs, shorts. It's all possible because the market is volatile in this beautiful bandwidth of 50 to 60K, but that's for the traders. For the investors, just keep accumulating Bitcoin, keep stacking sets, keep buying those dips, stop crying, start buying and zoom out. Look at that bigger picture. We are just approaching the midst of September. Token 2049 in Singapore is happening. Probably a shitload of positive news will there be presented again and then we will slowly grind up to October. And then we have October, November, December, which historically has been the most bullish months of the year. So yes, October, November, December this year will be bullish again. Will it lead to the end of the bull market? No. The end of the bull market, I still believe, is in 2025. We will see a new all-time high in 2024, towards the end. We will have a dip again in January, February, March, and again build up beautifully from April to the end of the year in 2025 to create a bull market top. At least that is what I expect, guys. And that will probably be a blow-off top. Of course, there is a possibility of a double top the first stop happening at the end of this year, and then again a dip, and then again another top in the next year, as high as this stop. But I believe this bull market, we will take it above 100,000 US dollar between 120 and 160K, as I have been repeatedly saying, guys. Now let's quickly jump into the last part of the video, the inspirational quote that I have for you today. Bam. The inspirational quote for today has to do with Thailand and of course also with all the rain because life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. It is about learning how to dance in the rain. It now stopped raining, but it was raining tremendously. And since I have arrived in Thailand, yes, we are still in the rainy season, so there are still rainy days. There will also be sunny days, but there will also be rainy days. On those rainy days, you shouldn't become depressive or be like, ah, oh, it's raining all the time. Why did I go to Thailand? No, you need to learn to dance in that rain. Do all the stuff that you like to do that you can do while it's raining or go swimming or go to the sea. Experience that first time rainy sea dip. It's all beautiful. It all has to do with the mindset in between your ears. You determine if you love the rain or if you hate the rain. So that's very important to understand that life is not about waiting for the storm to pass. It is about learning how to dance in the rain. And it doesn't mean it's only about raining and storm. It means it has to do with everything in life, not just the rain. You don't sit down and wait for the next opportunity. 
you learn to move around in your current lifestyle, searching, grinding for finding the new opportunity. All those opportunities don't just come to you by running the hamster wheel every time the same routine. They don't appear like this, like It's different. You need to break out of that routine, try new things to run into these new opportunities. Dancing in the rain. Not like waiting for the storm to pass, waiting for your pension, waiting for the time to start enjoying life, waiting for all of that. No, it's about enjoying your life to the fullest at the moment that you're living it. And what type of life you're living, you determine yourself. It's all up to you. You can stay running the hamster wheel, stay in that storm, or you can escape it, start to enjoy the rain, and from there, the sun will start to shine again. And then you will start to live that beautiful sunny life that you're looking for. I am not referring to the weather, I'm referring to your happiness. Because whenever the sun is shining, you feel more happy. Whenever it's raining, you probably feel more sad. It shouldn't be like that. You should always be happy. If it's rainy, if it's storming, if it's sunny, if it's snowing, it doesn't matter. There is always something that you can do to be happy in whatever kind of weather it is. And that counts for every aspect in life, guys. So the quote for today is, don't wait for the storm to pass. Start to learn how to dance in the rain. Now, that was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about the charts, about the tips, about everything else? And also let me know, do you want me to go back to the traditional format with also the travel tips and all that stuff, or do you prefer these shorter videos of 10 to 15 minute maximum? Thanks for watching. I wish you a beautiful Monday, and see you tomorrow on Tuesday again. Damn.